new world order has to be positively uplifting, strong and bold. Joy Barua never disappoints. Joy Barua, the Indian pitcher Gabriel. New world order was both bold and powerful. This kind of uh, progressive rock vibe, the kind of epic and strong and powerful feeling we have through this composition. New World Order is one of the most powerful songs in the entire project and Manu's orchestration of it in the fantasy reflects it so brilliantly. Manu Martin, the John Williams from Bordeaux. <laughs> when it came to the orchestration by Manu Martin, I just simply held my breath. He made a tremendous job. It's very beautiful. Time had come to embrace the new. So the time came when I had to play this guitar with the orchestra. Listening to Jerome's guitar leading the LSO, playing the main theme of Joy's amazing song, was it still is so thrilling. The first second I went to the studio and the, the, the orchestra started to play. I couldn't hold my tears, really. It was very uh, emotional. Remembering the look of sublime fulfillment on my friend's face will always make my day. My inspiration for New World Order came as Christina and I were midway writing the script for Alan the Musical, and I was tasked with transitioning the character Alan the Inanimate from its past into its future. And I just remember rushing to pen these lyrics. It's a beautiful invention, robotics, artificial intelligence. It's the new medication. Exoskeletons, brain implants, I'll perform a rain dance, so strap me up, wire my brain. Hey, I'm ready for a whole new game. That was it. I reached for my phone and I called my friend and composer Joy Brewer, some 4,000 kilometers away. I feel it is one of the strongest points in sense of the story and also in sense of the stuff I've written for the story. There are a few climaxes throughout the fantasy, and New World Order is definitely one of them. A song about tomorrow. It's been a real pleasure and like a dream come true to do that. Once in a lifetime, maybe. What an experience! <laughs>